Welcome back everyone, this is Kiltek. We want to continue our adventure with the Sisters of Eve, the epic arc. Uh, but I actually want to spice this video a little bit up. So I decided to change our ship from the sexy looking sweep pool to uh, even more sexy looking phantasm cruiser. I hope you guys will like it and I would say let's just start. Thwarting the su succession, before you arrived we managed to get one of our people inside Tabar's recruitment and training facility. He informed us that uh, the missing capsule you seek passed through this space place briefly. Moments ago we received word that our man is now trapped there. We had hoped that Tabar's assassination would scatter the remnants of his forces and provide an easy escape, but we had no such luck. One of Tabar's remaining lieutenants, an Amata by the name of Mizara Nefra, has returned to the facility and taken over. Not only is our spy and your only lead caught in the spider's web, but this smuggling crew may operate again someday unless we put a stop to this. You must run interference for us. Kill Mizara and his followers, so that our agent has a chance of ex escaping undetected. Okay. Run interference for the crucial, crucial spy in Tabar's training compound. Okay guys, let's attack. Okay, we arrived. We have an optimal range of 20 to 23 kilometers. So we should be having no problem hitting them at all. Yes, more fighters incoming. There is Mizara. So let's kill them. Yes, this was pretty quick. Those heavy pulse laser stack 2 with Scorch on them do really well. And yeah, this ship is so overpowered for this mission. But why the hell not? We are back. Let's talk with our agent. Complete mission. Certificate of Death. You've destroyed the pirate ring that would have taken us months to work through. High marks all around. Okay. Request new mission. You've done good work for me. And I have one last request. Go and tell Mizara, Mizara's Amar Masters that she will work for them no more. Okay. I would say let's go traveling guys. So, we reached our destination, but before I talk to the agent, what I actually want to do is look at the fitting first, guys. <clears throat> so, how did I fit this uh, Phantasm Cruiser? I have three heavy pulse lasers, uh, which are more for close medium range engagements, uh, with a pretty good uh, DPS, as you can see I have with my turret uh, 384 DPS then I uh, have one micro warp drive on medium slot two adaptive invulnerability fields take two and uh, three large shield extender guys for maximum shield hate points one damage control take two for more resistance three heat sinks take two and one tracking enhancer take two uh, so that I can apply damage better uh, and of course uh, I put in three core defense field ex <coughs> extender for more uh, shield HP as of uh, drones I only use warrior tech 2 on this ship as a kind of a backup this is the fit guys it is pretty tight but as you can see I have over uh, let me go into simulation mode so that we can see everything running. 
I have over 18,000 uh, HP of shield, which gives me 67,000 uh, effective HP. Resistance is not bad in kinetic and explosive damage resistance. Thermal is a little bit uh, lacking, and actually I have a little hole in EM damage resistance, but um, I have a good amount of shield HP, so that compensates that hopefully. Okay, I need to talk to someone, I think this one, yes, okay let's see what they will tell us, a matter of de decorum, I would speak with you about your search for Dagan, but first a matter of decorum, the late mistress Mizara's parents entrusted the safety of their child to my lord, he has attempted to make amends but I am afraid my lord can be indelicate. He would replace their daughter with reparations of gold and isk. This must be handled with more care. Take this toy. The mistress first arrived at my lord's estate with nothing to her name but this. As you destroyed her body, it is the only physical connection left in this world that her family will recognize as hers. Deliver this to the family and with the utmost care. They have already suffered enough. Mizara's doll, okay. Bring Mizara's doll to the colony where her family lives. Okay. Tradition. Ama society is popularly conceived as hi hierarchical and, okay, I can't pronounce that shit. Hierarchical and old fashioned. True Amar are fought to dominate all people they conquer and treat their own people as little better than cattle. While that can be true in certain cases, the political realities of the Amar Empire are far too complex to paint the Empire as a wholly evil power. Okay. I would say just get the doll back to her parents. So, we are at our destination. And before I go any further I want to point out that I really like the green lights of the propulsion systems of this ship okay let's close in on Mizara family hove let's Bring back doll and hopefully no one will attack us. Okay, that looks fine. I would say let's go back. Okay, we are back. So let's see how we can continue this adventure. Thank you for doing this, my friend. To see others suffer is never easy. Okay. You know that I killed her, right? Right? Okay, doesn't matter. New friends, oh my god, are they, are they already sending me back to another agent? You have proven you respect our ways. My lord now believes he can trust you. Yes, we know Dagon, and of your hunt for him. Uh, my lord hired him as a tutor for Mistress Mizara some ten years ago. Tough, my lord fancies himself a skilled pilot. He is very much of old Amar stock. He wished the mistress to be better educated in the newly emerging technologies and political realities than he. Dagan proved a rem remarkable teacher. Sadly, he and Lord uh, Tafos had a falling out after the coronation of Empress Sarum. Okay. There was an altercation, and both Dagan and the mistress fled. I do not know where Dagan himself is, but I do know the man who brought Dagan to my lord's attention, an archaeologist of some respect, by the name of Dr. Canius. You'll find him at the location provided. Be warned, he surrenders nothing for free. Okay, I don't care. Let's go and meet up. So, we reached our next destination. Let's see what Dr. Canius has to tell us. Let's get this bigger. That is she. Damn, I was fond of her. And not in Tafo's way, mind you. 
Yeah, I know. He was purely her protector and patron, to mold her and shape her for a life of dedicated service to God and Empire. Listen, I've been studying human history for a long while, and the platonic patronage between a lord and mistress hasn't happened uh, since the time when the reclaiming just involved stabbing our heaven neighbors with pointy sticks. But if that was all that was going on, nobody would fuss. But that's enough story time for now. You want more? You'll have to do something for me. Hell, you don't want to hear more. You still have to do something for me. Don't worry, it's real simple. There's a dig site a little ways from here, a small cluster of asteroids containing artef artifacts from some of the first Amar space lanes. I know there's at least one good pro piece left, but every time I hire a team, they get driven off by pirates. All you have to do is go in, get that artifact and return it to me without dying. Man, I can't die. Civilian Relic Analyzer. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't wanna change my fitting. Okay. Guys, we are doing some little fittings. What should I change? Should I get one extender off? It would be 4000. Yeah, let's get out one extender and get that civilian relic analyzer. Okay guys, let's go. So we are here and we have company. Let's get rid of those pirates. I see two destroyers and one cruiser. None of them should be any danger to us. Oh, we got reinforcements. Okay, those guys are a little bit too far, uh, too far away. Let's go with the frigate. This should work better, yep. There is the ancient tomb. Let's try to get that frigate as well. Because he is disrupting our turrets. But he is not doing that anymore because he is dead. Let's go let's get more lasers on the enemy. So only the cruiser is left. Let's see, cruiser is getting a lot of damage from us. They will be down very soon. Let's go a little bit faster. We cannot access. Okay, we have to use our civilian relic analyzer. Let's do that. Oopsie daisy, that's not it. Oh, that asshole is protect protecting it. Yep, we found it. We found it. Mysterious statute. Okay, loot all. So now we have to get um, out of this tomb. Because I think we are stuck in it. Okay. Let's get back. So we are back. Complete mission. Blood Raiders, you're lucky you lived. Come on, man. Blood Raiders, really? I s I've seen worse. They're psychotic and bloodthirsty, L literally. Their sect believes purity can only be reached by consuming blood. And clone blood is purest of all. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree, man. I'm afraid that makes you capsulars their favorite snack. Oh. But you're alive and you've got the artifact, so we're good. Very good. 
request mission <clears throat> of quite nights long past. You've done me a solid, so I'll return the favor. A few a few years ago, Lord Tafos tried to hit me up to tutor his new m miracle girl. I declined, but I pointed him to Dagan. Dagan was holed up in this monastery at the time, part of some weird hermitage. So I introduced them, think nothing of it, then I start hearing rumors about how friendly Dagan is with Mizara. This doesn't go well with Tafos. Particularly if you also believe what they say about Tafos and Dagan. Dagan was driven off, and truth told that's what probably turned Mizara against Tafos right then. So Tafos wants to keep a tight lid on the whole affair himself, keep the rumors still. So that's his character history. Hope you wrote that all down. Nah, I don't care. There's no test or anything. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, man? But what did Dagan do after? I honestly don't know. But five will, but five will get you ten. That it has something to do with his life before Tafos. This is the location of the monastery he stayed at. It's been abandoned for some time. I wouldn't be surprised if scavengers have moved in. Go reclaim the hell out of that place. And I'm sure you'll find something useful. Okay. Strange coded document. Find the monastery, clear the area of any pirates, retrieve any documents you find. The reclaiming is a major part of the Amar religion and of the empire itself. They believe that all people in the universe were once part of the same empire. The Amar empire is the direct of <laughs> what higher to, their le to that legacy. To Empress Jamil Sarum, the Amar are given a divine mandate to reunify the peoples of the universe through any means necessary. Holy fuck. Historically, this has led to numerous wars of conquest in which the Amar decimate and then absorb civilizations. Each war is itself referred to as a reclaiming to emphasize their divine mandate. Okay, well, I just accept that. And I would say, <clears throat> let's get back our shield extender. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I see a lot of red. Let's see, hopefully they are well, close enough to engage at least some of them. Okay, one is down. Amata Holy Dome. Okay, let's kill them all. Okay, only three left, and I think one of them will drop the item that we need. So, only one left. And there is a drop that we are looking for. Okay, we got it. So we are finished here. So let's head back to our agent. Okay, we are back. Revelations. Good job cleaning those guys out. I wouldn't worry about the ramifications of slaughtering some godless scavengers. The first rule of any good reclaiming is it's about souls, not bodies. We just happen to have a lot of the letter left over okay now let's have a look at that document you found <clears throat> this is fascinating see this character here 
It's only found in the Jovian alphabet. It's not proper Jovian, though. It's like they just were using the character set as a cipher of some sort. Unfortunate for Dagan, no cipher exists to stop a Hadeon University man. Let's see. That's strange. I can't tell who this is to. But it's definitely from Dagan. He says his mission went well and that he fully earned the marks. I assume that Tafos trust. The mark willingly gave him passwords and clearance to imperial archives and emperors. Of old, he says, he has sent all records pertaining to the empire's knowledge of pre yovian weapons. I can only guess, guess at what qualifies as pre yovian but Tafos has unwittingly provided imperial secrets to a spy. You must deliver this information to him at once. Oh, cool. Okay. Then let's go back. Okay, we are back. Let's tell that guy that they have screwed up really bad. A call to trial. I'm sure you have several questions for me, but I'm afraid they'll have to wait. It seems Tafos caught wind of your investigation. I know because he has challenged you to trial by combat. Okay, it hasn't been common for years, but Tafos considers himself an old-fashioned true Amar, and blue laws still allow it. Luckily, this provides the perfect opportunity for us. With the information we've uncovered, namely the cipher, we have enough to bring Tafos on charges. Doing so, however, would cause a huge political uproar, the kind that we frankly don't have the time for. I want you to go out there, meet Tafos and kill him in combat. We've shut off access to his clones, so he won't be coming back. As you were challenged by a noble, you'll suffer no consequences, legal or otherwise. His family line gets to keep their good name and everyone can then go back to their knees. Nice, safe lives. Confident that Imperial secrets are still safe. Okay. Defeat Tafos in trial by combat. This should be easy. We have a very sexy looking and deadly phantasm. Okay, Tafos in a sweet, sweet little Punisher frigate. Um, yeah, guys, he's dead. I actually would have thought someone of his statue should have at least a battlecruiser or even a battleship. You do know you haven't finished your current mission for me, right? No, I did finish it. It is done then. I've already started making my calls. As far as the media is concerned, he accused you of contract fraud, but God proved your innocence through a lawful trial by combat. Request mission. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, now about Dagan, we've had our suspicions as to who he is. With the cipher you found, we know for sure, I am violating my oath by giving you this intel. But odds are good with we'd never be able to act on it ourselves. See, Dagan is from the Society of Conscious Thought. I have no fucking clue who they are. Dagan's made a mistake though. He's been cut off from his buddies. The sisters have seen to that. Yeah, the sisters. I've been curious why they were so interested in my case. Now I know. If there's one group that keeps a closer eye on the society than the Empire, it's the Sisters of Eve. They knew the whole damn time who Dagon was. I'd say it's time to head back over to the sisters and get the full story. Oh shit. Okay. Okay girl, you have to talk. We finally reached our destination guys, this took too long, okay, let's see what the Sisters of Eve will be telling us. The stranger's face, your anger is understandable, but we've got more reasons to cooperate than to quarrel. Dagan's your real enemy, you'll be interested to know that some of his corpmates have been spotted at a nearby station. We've prepared an agent to gain their confidence and, et and extract information on their further operations to you. 
She'll be Tahaki Karen, a ship's engineer from the Damso. Before our operative can infiltrate Dagan's group, Karen's identity records will need to be altered. Take this record to an archive station. Once they are updated there, our friends will make sure they are changed throughout the entire network. Okay, this is an easy courier mission. So let's get that shit up in our ship and move out. Okay, we reached our station. So let's tell our agent that we are done. Excellent work, pilot. The altered records are being distributed as we speak. Request mission. Sounds good. Please drop by. So, guys, we are heading back. So, we are back. Let's just start talking with our uh, agent. The sisters and the spy. With those record records replaced, our agent is Tahaki Karen. What happened to the real one? Electronically speaking, she's a non-person. She's alive and safe though. If she wanted better, she shouldn't have joined the society. Now we need to get our Karen into place. I filed a travel request in her name, which the society has granted. All you need to do is rendezvous with a society transport and drop her off. Once that's done, we just have to wait for for her to tell us where the Dagan is. That is Tahaki Karen. It is in Arnon delivered Tahaki Karen to the Society Luxury Space Liner. Okay. Okay. So we arrived and I think there shouldn't be any targets to kill, but there is the luxury space liner. Let's move closer to that one. So, she is on it. Republic Intelligence tells me you might have a lead on our prodigal son Dagan. He needs to be taken down for everyone's good. The Republic will watch your back. Okay, this just became red and vanished. Okay. Let's head back. Okay. Complete mission. Well done, Capsulier. I believe Karen has begun transmitting data already. Okay, cool. Sealing the deal. Karen's information is still coming in, but if you really want to find Dagan, you're going to have to help us deal with a little problem. The Society of Conscious Thought has deployed a refitted cruiser, the Omnipresence, nearby, with a substantial escort. We think they may be recording our local communications. If they are, there is a good chance that there is a good chance they'll be able to decipher them and root out our agent. The Society will certainly murder our sister if they uncover her identity. We need you to locate the Omnipresence and destroy her. If necessary, engage her escort, but try not to destroy them. The loss of human life would be catastrophic. Destroy the society spy. Okay. Okay, we are coming in. Let's see. Society escort, escort, escort. Society spy. That's our target. Let's fuck him up. And I'm Adan Youssef from Ishikone Internal Security. We've been monitoring data traffic between you and the servant sisters of Eve. Now don't get excited. We are all on the same side here. The state will help you get Dagon as long as you hand him over to us once you've got him. Okay, everyone else worked out. We are done. Let's go back home. Okay. Excellent work, Chasing Shadows. Excellent work, the Omnipresence has been destroyed and there's no indication that she managed to inform her society masters. We'll be resuming contact with Karen immediately. Okay, request mission. Chasing Shadows. Our agent hasn't been able to determine where Dagan is, but in decoding her sensory data, we managed to pick up a clue. 
an Amal pilot named Kritsan Partos he recently delivered a cargo of drone parts to Dagan. These parts were black market and may have been scavenged from some of your recent battles. We contacted Partos, he's an independent operator but wouldn't see the light. We've managed to locate him by tracing his communication signals. Unfortunately, it will be necessary for you to bring him in for a meeting under duress. Our archive data suggests that Partos will travel with a small contingent of support ships. Identify his command vessel, destroy it and retrieve him from his pod. Bring him to me, personally. Okay, this sounds very easy. Acquire his goods. Eliminate the squadron and bring crits and Partos back for interrogation. Yep, this will be easy. Okay. Kristen Partos in a battle cruiser, okay. And a lot of rookies and mercenaries. And we are close enough. So let's get them all out of the way. So, Kristen Partus. Oh, asshole. He is using noids on us and tracking disruptors. But unfortunately for him, he will not live long. That's an Amar citizen you've kidnapped, pilot. But if I understand your motive, m motives correctly, we can overlook that once you've extracted Dagan's location. Will help you bring the hammer of God down on the dead bastard. Okay. If I remember correctly, I need to retrieve that guy, and he is over here. Okay, we have that Amar citizens. So let's get back to our agent. Okay, we are back with our guy. I'll handle questioning Partus. Rest assured he will be tr treated humanly and compensated well. Okay. Okay. The missing piece. We finally determined Dagon's location. It appears that he's outfitting another expedition. If he successfully acquires more of those drones, and worse, maintains control of them, he and his clients will be able to wreak terrible destruction across the cluster. Across the cluster. I'm sure you can take out uh, Dagan yourself, but it looks like he's hired some muscle. You've made some imperial contacts, yes, they might be able to clear a path for you to engage Dagan. The empires will want Dagan, not just for justice, but for his knowledge. Accept their help, but consider delivering him into our merciful hands instead. We'll spare him and make sure his knowledge does no harm. You have to make a choice between the empires. Which one do you want to help you in taking down Dagan? The Galente Federation have sent Commander Bruce Coltern to Shero as your contact. <coughs> Coltern is an idealist, but effective. You will find him a reliable ally. The Minmatar commander, Kitar Ang, a veteran of the Minmatar Republic fleet, awaits you in Aviu. She is a brilliant tactician, if impatient. The Kaldari commander, Adan Yusef, a contractor with Ishikune, is eager to speak with you in Sosh. I've heard he is the very model of an efficient Kaldari soldier. The Amar commander, the Amar Empire has sent Lear Ivanus, a commander of some fame, to Manark. She is a firm Defender of the Amar faith, her zeal will prove effective against the Gan. I think I'm going with the Minmatar commander, guys. Ah, okay, let's see which one is closer. Four jumps, three jumps, five jumps. Two jumps. Oh, I'm still going with the Minmatar. Three jumps is okay. 
Okay, let's move out. So, we reached our agent. Our man Dagan. Welcome back, soldier. We found the gun. Couldn't have done it without those inter in interrogation tapes. He's looking to leave the station you mentioned, but we can't catch up to him. Our strike force is already on their way to the station. It will take a capsuleer to shoot down a capsuleer though. This is your show, pilot. Kick some ass. Acquire his goods with the gun. Destroy the gun ship and bring him back to your agent. Okay. I think this is it. This is it, guys. This is hopefully the last mission. Okay. We are here. Let's see. <clears throat> there is Dagan's escorts. Let's get rid of those escorts. And after the escorts, this should be a piece of cake, hopefully. I switched to uh, radio lenses. They won't do as much damage as the ones that we used before, our Scorch, but for Dagan, I am definitely going to use Scorch. Let's keep him at 20 kilometers and fire everything. Let's see how much he can withstand. Oh yeah, this definitely hurts him. He is flying in a Gnosis as far as I can see. Yes, this is a Gnosis. And he probably is shield tanking. So when his shield is down, armor and structure should go really fast. Yeah, shield is down. He's losing armor now. Oh hell, let's let's get the drones on him too. More DPS. Yep, now he's really screwed. Yep, that's it. Dagan is dead. Actually, no, he's not dead. He, he lost his ship. And we will be recovering Dagan from this cargo container. And then we are hopefully finished. Okay, we have Dagan. Let's get back to our agent. Okay, let's see if this really was the last part or if there is anything further. Complete mission. Dal Segno Alfine. Fine, okay. You gave quite a performance. Good work. Request mission. As payment for their earth, the Sisters of Eve have demanded we give them Dagan. I would rather see him stand trial for his crimes, but my superiors have agreed to the Sisters' term. A ship awaits his delivery. Sister Alitura will accept nobody other than you to approach. Deliver Dagan to their hands and let us be done with this. Okay. Ship restrictions. Can I use cruiser? Yes, I can. Very good. One million. Okay. This should be no problem. I really don't know why we have to warp in an encounter in this system, but... Oh, for fuck's sakes, just let's do it. Let's get it over. 
Hello old friend, simply deposit Dagon in the Ref prison transport and your long journey will be at an end. No matter what you see I must ask you to stay calm and do not fire. Why, what do I see? I see an Amar battleship, Galente Dominix, a Minmatar Tempest and a Raven, Kaldari Raven. So a ship from each race, a battleship from each race. That's nothing to freak about, I would say. I've already saw, seen all the ships. Dagan put him in this prison. And what the? Was that an explosion? I told you. You had nothing to fear, pilot. Thanks to your help, the rogue drones need no longer be a hindrance to our efforts. Return to your commander and tell him Dagon will no longer trouble the empires. Farewell, perhaps there is hope for your kind yet. What the hell is she talking about? Okay. Okay, agent. You're coming back. Okay, we are back. Let's see what Kitar Ang has to say. More drones appeared but did not attack. That is a strange thing. Okay, I actually don't, did not see them. I heard that they were truly sentient, but I never quite believed it. There is something much larger going on than we realize. Regardless, you have proven yourself a friend of the Minmata Republic. Whether you continue your efforts depending uh, the empires or forge your own empires with your fellow capsuleers in the depths of a law lawless space. Now that you have proven your worth as the demigod, okay? Okay guys, I think we just finished. You delivered Dagon into the sister's custody, from which he is unlikely to return. While delivering Dagon, a large rogue drone hive appeared but did not attack. Sister Alitura was suspiciously unalarmed. Okay. Hey guys, I think this is it. We are finished. Okay everyone, we finally finished the Sisters of Eve epic art missions. I actually wanted to do uh, two videos, but we finished everything in this one now so uh, no problem at all it was really fun doing this in this phantasm cruiser uh, with those lasers just mel melting our enemies uh, and uh, about the sisters of eve epic arc missions i really have to say guys those uh, missions do uh, take a lot of time traveling we are really wasting a lot of time traveling around guys but still, I saw uh, some good and uh, nice missions, and uh, all the enemies were pretty easy for me. So if you have um, a somewhat good destroyer, you should be able to do all this. Just the only one that that I saw uh, comparing uh, quite good with us was Dagan itself. So you probably need to be a little bit more careful with him. But he should be possible with a uh, destroyer. I think uh, the most important thing is to keep a good distance to him. And then he should be no problem. Oh, and you will need uh, somewhat uh, decent DPS, I think. To get him down, you will at least need something like 250 DPS. Something around that. That seems to be uh, appropriate for Dagan. So guys, uh, this series uh, is quite long now. I did not expect it to be this long, but uh, nonetheless, I finished it now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. So please share and like the videos, guys. Uh, of course, I hope to see everyone soon again. Uh, I don't know what uh, next videos will be. Um, if you have any suggestion, uh, suggestions or anything that you would like to see uh, that I do in this e game EVE Online, just tell me in the comments guys. Uh, and uh, I hope to see everyone uh, again soon guys. Kill tech out.